containers are still above 14,000 feet, their ranking has changed. And the study also tested Denver's status as the Mile High City. Our Sean Boyd is live tonight. So, Sean, is Denver still the Mile High City? It is, Michael, but where that measurement starts is going to change. This mile-high marker here at the state capitol is going to need to move up a couple steps. Scientists at NOAA have developed a new, far more precise way of measuring elevations. While the previous system came within a couple feet, the new system comes within a couple inches. And that has led to a shakeup in the hierarchy of Colorado's 14ers. Born and raised in Colorado, I've done more than half of the 14ers. When NOAA physicist Derek Van Westrom was tapped to lead an overhaul of the National Spatial Reference System, recalculating the elevation of Colorado's 14ers, he says, was a bonus. They needed a place to test the new system, and Colorado had the terrain they were looking for. We have, of course, people know it's uh, more land above 10,000 feet than all the other states combined. It's a very high state. It's a very rugged state. So if the system works here, we know that it'll work anywhere else in the U.S. Initial projections showed the shortest 14er Sunshine Peak might actually be a 13er. We are now confident that it's 14005. Making Sunshine six inches taller than Huron Peak, which is now the shortest summit. While the ranking from tallest to shortest changed for several peaks, Van Westrom says Colorado didn't lose or gain any 14ers. As for the new measurement system, it aced the test, and that has implications for far more than 14er status. The project involved recalculating sea level. Sea level isn't ever exactly level. So if you can map out what that surface is, that's the new zero for all of the heights that we're going to do for the entire nation. As part of the new calculation, NOAA measured gravity across the entire United States. We would fly these grids uh, with basically six mile spacing. It took 15 years to fly the entire nation. That tells us what the actual gravity is. Using that and sophisticated GPS, scientists say they can now calculate heights to within a couple inches anywhere in the U.S., including Colorado's highest peaks. It's fun for the hikers. It's important for the rest of the nation, but it's, uh, you know, scientifically we can prove that, yep, the new system works and it's going to be useful for everybody. So. All federal agencies will adopt that new system for measuring elevations, which will help with everything from calculating the drainages for roads and bridges to plotting hurricane evacuation routes, floodplain mapping, even farmland irrigation. Since sea level continues to rise, the scientists at NOAA will continue to track the changes in elevation. But for now, the 14ers and Mile High City are safe. And if you want to know the order, the new height hierarchy of the 14ers, I'll post that on our website with this story. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. I know there's a lot of people who are glad they don't have to recalculate how many 14ers that they have conquered. Sean, great story. Thank you.